You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Warm hospitality and simple ways of living are some of the traits that mark the lifestyle of tribals in India. To preserve and promote this rich tribal culture, every year the country hosts the National Tribal Dance Festival. So today we will begin the show by taking you to the 11th edition of the festival that was organized in Orisha's capital, Bhubaneswar. The rich tribal culture and traditions of the country was recently on display in Bhubaneswar as it hosted the three-day National Tribal Dance Festival. Organized by the Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes Research and Training Institute or SESTRTI in the city, the festival presented as many as 30 colorful dance forms of 20 tribal communities from across the country. Giving the spectators a glimpse of dance traditions of tribal India, the event is aimed at preserving, propagating and popularizing the cultural wealth of tribals from different states of the country. This kind of you know, uh, arrangement of National Tribal Dance Festival is also giving an opportunity to know each other between the tribal communities. And we found, you know, over the years and even this year, many states who have come with their, uh, you know, troop leaders are taking the address of many other tribal communities just to invite them to their state. This kind of exposure, this kind of interaction is definitely going to, you know, uh, ensure that this tribal dance form, which is so very important part of tribal culture, is going to survive the distance. The enthusiasm showed by the tribal dancers very well reflected the love for their culture. All the dances were mostly performed in semicircles, accompanied with the powerful beats of drums and other musical instruments. One among them was Shimlam dance, which was performed by the members of Rongme tribe. Popularly known as fly dance, in this traditional folk art form, men strut to the music with a ritual knife in their hands, while the female dancers follow the beat with their hands twirling in the air. This dance is in the festival. We dance in the harvesting festival. We dance in January and February. We dance in the festival in the festival. We dance in the festival in the festival. Karma dance performed by the Orang tribe of Orissa also left the spectators awestruck. This pastoral dance is usually performed during the worship of the god or goddess of fate, Karam Devta or Karmasani Devi, whom people consider the cause of good and bad fortune. During the event, the performance of artists symbolized Baha, the festival of flowers. हम बाहा फेस्टिवल के ऊपर डांस किए हैं इस फेस्टिवल पे ज़्यादातर लोग सर्गी फूल को पूजा करते हैं और इसे फ्लावर फेस्टिवल भी किया जाता है भारत में लगभग 700 से ज़्यादा ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी है और यही खासियत है कि वो नेचर वर्शिप करते हैं और उनका सब जो कि ट्रेडिशनल फेस्टिवल्स है वो एसोसिएट है डांस और सेलिब्रेशन से अगर ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म मिलता है जो हम लोग जैसे कॉमन पीपल हैं उनके लिए एक नॉलेज हब टाइप का है और यहाँ पे आके हमें पता चलता है कि हाउ मच दे आर इंटरेक्ट लाइक इंटरेक्टिंग विद देयर डांस फॉर्म और कैसे वो उसको लाइक जान लगा के करते हैं तो ये जो स्पिरिट उसमें होता है वो हम तक भी आता है और ये अच्छा लगता है देखने के बाद कि कितना वैरायटी डाइवर्सिटी है हमारे भारत में और इसको एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिलने से हमें भी प्राउड फील होता है 
National Tribal Dance Festival is altogether a great platform where hundreds of participants through their performances showcase the diverse traditions and myriad cultures of the erstwhile forest dwellers. In addition, it also provides a unique opportunity to urban masses and tourists to acquaint themselves with the traditions that are essentially rooted in pagan customs and nature. Religious harmony and peaceful coexistence are deeply imbibed in the societal framework of India. Examples of this harmonious existence are seen on an everyday basis in different nooks and corners of the country. Citing a similar example, we will take you to Kalaburgi district of Karnataka, where a padyatra or procession was organized by the Jai Bharat Mata Seva Samiti to spread the message of unity and brotherhood. Idols of Lord Rama, Chhatrapati Shivaji and Baba Sahib Ambedkar passed through the streets of Kalburgi city as a reminder of the bond of harmony which ties all the citizens in a common cord of brotherhood. The scene was witnessed during a procession which was carried out by Jai Bharat Mata Seva Samiti with the motive of spreading communal harmony. Muslim bhai, Dalit bhai, Sikh bhai, Hartley aur voluntarily aake isko swagat kiya hai. Hamara ek hi maksad hai, pura dunya ko hi dikana hai, Hindustan, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh logon ka ek dharti punne bhoomi hai. Yaha kabhi bhi jat paat ke upar jo log lanna nahi, sab log desh ke liye lanna hai. Desh ek hai, maa bhi ek hai, us ek maa ka hum sab santan hai, 130 karo log hum ek hai, ye meseas hum is yatra se pura dunia ko dera hai. The procession was headed by Om Hava Malinath Muthya, a famous seer who has been doing it for years. The procession included photos and idols of gods, idols and saints of different religions to spread the message of inclusivity and oneness. The procession started from Basavana Bhagyawadi, the birthplace of 12th century scholar and social reformer Basavana. People of all religious communities took part in the procession. Today, in Hindustan, I don't want to say that in Hindustan, there is a lot of success in Hindustan. So, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, and Sikh, they have a lot of people who have a lot of strength. I want to give an example. In the beginning, in Ramadan, there was a lot of strength in the beginning of Ramadan. They have a lot of strength in the beginning of Ramadan. दिए हैं देख के हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख का भाईचारे का एक सबूत उन्होंने पेश किए हैं आपको सामने आपको सबको मालूम है तो उसके लिए हम तमाम हमारे हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख के साथ खास करके मेरे मुस्लिम भाइयों से मैं गुजारिश करता हूं ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा आके बसों कल्याण में अगर शिरकत करेंगे तो ये बहुत बड़ी बात है क्योंकि हमारे को ले चलने वाले जो हवा मलिनाथ मुद्दे हैं उसके लिए अदमन अदमन गुजारिश करता हूँ कि आप आके अच्छे से अच्छा after reaching Kalburgi, the procession is heading towards the city of Basava Kalyana. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Buddhist monks from South Korea attended a colorful inauguration of a Buddhist monastery in the eastern city of Bodhgaya in India. South Korean ambassador to India Chang Jae Bok was also present for the opening ceremony of the newly built monastery. Monks from South Korea, Japan, Thailand, Tibet, and Sri Lanka also participated in the event. The great achievement uh, by the uh, Korean uh, Buddhism. Uh, this will uh, further enhance the relations between our two peoples, uh, Korea and India. And I hope that uh, there will be more uh, people to people uh, exchanges. Especially uh, many uh, Korean uh, Buddhists coming to Bodhgaya uh, to visit this, uh, the Bunangsa Temple in uh, Bodhgaya. The Bungbangsa Temple marks 50 years of diplomatic relationship between India and South Korea. Both gas revered by the Buddhists since Lord Buddha is believed to have attained enlightenment under a tree at this place. Volunteers in India's northern Amritsar city, which is reeling under a severe heat wave like conditions, distributed water pots for birds to locals. 
like humans and other animals, winged creatures have also been hit by the sudden rise in temperature as most of their drinking water sources have dried up, leaving them at the mercy of humans. जितनी गर्मी पड़ रही है हम आए दिन देखते हैं पंछी पानी की वजह से सड़कों पे मर जाता है हम और हम हमें एक महसूस हुआ कि इंसान तो इंसान को अपना दुख तकलीफ बोल के बता देता है लेकिन पंछी जो होता है वो किसी को कुछ बोल नहीं पाता और हमने एक छोटा सा उपराला शुरू किया है फ्री डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है कसौरों की ताकि लोग अपनी छतों पर यह रखें to rescue the birds social workers in the city were seen giving away earthen pots to commuters as they said if people can place these pots on their terraces and fill them with water it can bring relief to the birds on the other hand the electricity department in northern uttar pradesh state has made special arrangements for air coolers for electricity transformers to protect them from breakdown because of the extreme heat Cast and crew of upcoming comedy drama Jug Jug Jio released the trailer of the film in India's western Mumbai city. Bollywood actors Anil Kapoor, Varun Dhawan, Karan Johar, Kiara Advani, Neetu Kapoor and Manish Paul were present during the launch event where they danced pose for photographs and interacted with fans. We thought that the very first film that Dharma Production should come out with should be a burst of color, a burst of celebration, a a full of family full of love and be an all around all round entertainer which has music in 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 huge measure entertainment in huge measure and so we thought that to open the box office gates for us at dharma productions there couldn't be a better and bigger film than jug jug jio and so here we are Jug Jug Jio marks the return of a film by Indian production and distribution company Dharma Productions in theaters amid declining cases of coronavirus. Directed by Raj Mehta, the story of the film revolves around two couples belonging to different age groups and their issues after marriage. The film is slated to hit the theaters on June 24. And now we will take you to Pulwama district of Jammu and Kashmir where the urs of Sayyid Hasan Mantaqi was attended by people of all religious communities as a symbol of communal harmony amongst them take a look Cutting across the religious lines hundreds of thousands of pilgrims throng the dargah of Sayyid Hasan Mantaqi in Pulwama district of Jammu and Kashmir The dargah witnessed pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity and commemorated the urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. During urs, devotee including women and children offers prayers and holy chadars at the shrine. Yahan bahut sare log aate hain. Wo sirf musalman tabke se taluq nahi rakhte balki gair muslim yahan bahut aate hain. मैंने यहाँ अपनी आंखों से देखा है मैंने अपनी जुबान से इंटरेक्शन की है कुछ लोगों से जो गैर जो गैर मुस्लिम थे वो यहाँ आए सिख कम्युनिटी से आए यहाँ हिंदुज़म आए ईसाई भी यहाँ आए वो से उनका यही कहना है कि ये जो सूफीज़म है ये जो आस्थान आलिया है हम यहाँ अपनी मुरादें ले आते हैं और उन मुराद जो हम मुरादें लेते ले ले लेके आते हैं हमें वो मुरादें पूरी होती है यहाँ दरगाह होल्ड्स ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस एज इट वेलकम्स पीपल ऑफ ऑल फेथ्स टू सीक वननेस विद गॉड एंड प्लेज अ डिस्टिंगटिव रोल इन नैरोइंग दी बाउंड्रीज ऑफ रिलीजन्स एंड बूस्टिंग सेक्युलरिज्म इन द कंट्री द डेट ऑफ द अर्स इज डिसाइडेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द इस्लामिक लूनर कैलेंडर priests and scholars gave religious sermons and recited verses from the holy quran Sayyid Hasan Mantaqi sahab ki ziyarat mubarak par na sirf musliman tashreef le aate hain balki gair muslim bhi yahan par tashreef le aate hain unhe bhi inki bargah mein mohabbat sukoon aur pyar ki jo taleemat hai wo usko apne qalb mein mehsoos karte hain aur tashneegan jinke jo hajat hote hain masail hote hain ya apne mamlaat hote hain wo inke tawassul se in nafus e qudsiya ke tawassul se Allah ki bargah mein pesh karte hain The message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these dargahs and these sites have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages. 
in line with the vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to provide a platform for women, artisans and craftsmen to promote their products, the Airports Authority of India has taken an initiative to allocate space at its airports to self-help groups or SHGs to sell their locally developed products. The opportunity is being provided under AAI's initiative Avsar, meaning airport as venue for skilled artisans in the region. Under the scheme, an area of 100 to 200 square feet has been earmarked at each AAI-operated airport. Airports nowadays are not a mere means of travel and commutation, but also are providing the first glimpse of a city or state to the passengers. Domestic and international travellers arriving at the international airports in India will now be able to get acquainted with the state-specific handicrafts and local art. The Airport Authority of India has launched the Avsar scheme with an aim to identify India's diverse artworks and unique cultural heritage by encouraging local artisans and craftsmen and providing them with platforms to showcase their work. As envisaged by the Prime Minister under this scheme, the Airports Authority of India is allotting space to self-help groups at its airports to display locally manufactured products. यहाँ की आसपास की जो आर्टिसंस हैं, प्रोडक्ट हैं, उनको डिस्प्ले करने की भी एक जगह बने और यहाँ के आर्टिसंस को अपने प्रोडक्ट दुनिया को दिखाने का मौका मिले और उसके कारण उन्हें बाद में बेचने का भी मौका मिले इस भावना से किया गया है उम्मीद करते हैं कि उनके व्यापार को बढ़ावा मिलेगा उनकी कलाकृति को काफ़ी लोगों के पास पहुंचाने का मौका मिलेगा और एयरपोर्ट में जो पैसेंजर्स आते हैं उनको भी एक अपने शहर को एक अलग तरह से देखने का मौका मिलेगा The efforts of the Airports Authority of India are proving to be an important step in the direction of making these skilled and talented women artisans financially empowered and self-reliant. We are from India to the point of view of the country, like in Jaipur, Chennai, where the public comes from, there are a lot of good things here. We are getting to learn some new things from here. कुछ नया सीखने भी मिल रहा है कुछ नया बेच भी रहा है जैसे कि हम लोग हैं यहाँ पे हैंडवर्क है दुपट्टा उपट्टा है स्नैक्स बनाते हैं मुखवास है ज्वेलरी है बहुत सारी चीज़ें और हमारे ये शॉप में मतलब ऑल इन वन मतलब पूरा गुजरात यहाँ पे मिल जाता है इन लोगों को इसमें बहुत अच्छे कलेक्शन है द मटेरियल इज वेरी वेरी गुड और बहुत सारे टाइप्स के कपड़े हैं इसमें इसमें आपको नायलोन है कॉटन है और जॉर्जेट है और कलेक्शन इज सो गुड आई एम सो सेटिस्फाइड गवर्नमेंट के इस स्कीम को मैं बहुत सपोर्ट करती हूँ और इसी तरह से गवर्नमेंट को वुमेन्स का हेल्प करना चाहिए आई एम आई एम सो इम्प्रेस With this scheme, new confidence is being restored among the artisans and their lives are becoming better with each day passing by. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Researchers at the California Institute of Technology, known as Caltech, have shown off their drone that can fight back against powerful wind gusts, which would render most currently sold equivalents unusable, powered by machine learning, AI. and complex algorithms the drone only weighs around 5 pounds 2.3 kgs but intelligently predicts how to react to winds in real time using a deep learning method developed by Caltech's engineers called Neural Fly recalculating conditions around it 5 times per second and adapting its path we're here in at Caltech where we're testing our drone in different wind conditions Right now our wind simulator is running up to 50% speed, right that's 13 miles an hour and we're using smoke to visualize the airflow. Limitations of the simulator make it hard to power winds higher than 26 miles per hour, but based on the drone's reliability at 100% of the RWWT's power, the team said it is confident the drone will hold its own against some of the harshest
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन